Long time no see. This is Sarah Misa T from 117 here, aka Sarah Serenity. I figured I'd give everyone an update on what's been going on with me over the course of the year and, um, well, the past few months, and why I haven't really recorded anything. Now, for anyone who remembers on my live video, the last time I actually had time to post a video, I, uh, had just gone out of the hospital back in June. Um, to explain the severity of what happened, um, I tried to kill myself, and apparently I was successful, according to my brother. I was actually dead for five minutes until my fiance revived me. Recently, I told one of my friends, who I guess didn't know, and uh, he actually asked me, what did it feel like to die? There's no real clear way I can explain it. It's, it's like going into a, a numb sleep but actually feeling your soul fall out of your body and land right below your feet. That's the best way I can do it, clarify it. Now I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what pushed me over the edge to try to kill myself. To make it clear, it was everything that I had gone through over the course of 13 years. There was a lot of shit that I went through. A lot of people have, that have taken advantage of me. A lot of people that have hurt me. A lot of people that betrayed my trust. Who literally took advantage of me when I was vulnerable. When I was seeking help. When I was seeking friends. A mentor. All that. And... Uh, they were able to really break me and they really split me apart but in the middle of June it came to a head and my mind just broke in a snap I can still only remember pit bits and pieces from that night um, and even my family told me they were begging me to stay inside the house. Telling me how much they loved me, how much they cared. But they thought I was going on a walk, apparently. <coughs> what ended up happening was, um... I ended up hanging myself in the tree with a dog leash. And uh, some man was walking by, saw me hanging myself, but I heard someone talking, not the man who was holding me up, but I'm guessing it was one of my friends who died years ago. I really felt someone pick up my soul and put it back into me saying do not do what I did you're not ready to die yet your family needs you Tom needs you it's not your time next thing I know I uh, I wake up on the electrical box screaming and crying asking if I'm in hell if I'm in hell because I did see a light at the end of the tunnel. I was so, so numb. I was frozen. I'm guessing it really wasn't my time to die at least. So after that, I wound up in the uh, Dr. Phillips Hospital and uh, I wound up 
being transferred to the South Seminole Hospital for four days. During that time, there was a lot of shit, a lot of drama, and I don't want to get into it. I'm doing better now than I did months ago. But I still get phantom pains here. And apparently sometimes people can still see the ring around my neck. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I guess it just all deals with certain lightning, lighting that I'm under or something. But apparently they said, well, me with this. The ring was about this wide going all the way around. And it left a good mark. Since then, I have been just trying to rebuild my life. And meanwhile, me and my family had to move. We lost the lease to our house that we had to move into an apartment. We're still, I'm still in the process of getting everything organized, getting my room situated. Um, and since then, I've worked at Howling Horror Nights. I currently now work at Universal, but I had to get transferred three times to get into a new position. But hopefully with that, I can start making cosplays again. I can start making big projects again. And I'm thinking about making a second YouTube anyway. Like, make this for blog, leave this YouTube up for blogs and um, discussions and make a second YouTube solely based on cosplay and gaming. But I know that a lot of people have been asking me about like why I've been absent, why I haven't made any YouTubes, why I haven't been working on my fan fiction. It's just it's because like I've been more caught up with focusing on my mental health because every single day and just to put it out there, my fiance is the one that revived me. Every day, I have to still live with the fact that my death, my attempt at staying dead, made a huge impact on a lot of people that I cared about. Some people are trying to make amends. Other people cut me off. I still don't know why. It still hurts. But there are... There are people still angry at my family, putting them to blame. My family is angry at other people, putting them to blame. It's no one's fault. Just as I have said before, it was everyone and everything. Everyone that had ever failed me. Everyone that had ever betrayed me. Everyone that had ever hurt me. That's what led to my death. I still, um, like I said, I still suffer from phantom pains from time to time on my neck. And I still suffer from chest pains because of anxiety and panic attacks, but that's not new. My point is, is that I'm doing better. I'm trying to be better. And, um, I am focused on that currently. But I will try to put up more videos. I know that someone has been asking me to do an RK3 update in theory. Tetsuya and Nomura already made it clear that Sora and Kairi are not be going to be together. They're always going to be friends. He's not focused on the shipping. He's focused on the story. That's it. So, and if Aang wants more canon, it's Riku and Kairi. And um, there's been more and more people that I found that had agree with me. But... Leave a comment below if you want to ask more about what I went through or if you're curi curious if I'm doing okay. And I appreciate all the support from everyone. So, till then, good night.